Hello, hello everyone. My name is Laura. This is my channel, Laura's Little Library, and welcome to today's video, which is a come book shopping with me video. So obviously I am in the car. I just finished my I just finished my work shift and I have zero patience. I am going to the bookstore because there are a couple books that were released yesterday that I I really want to pick up and initially I was going to go to the bookstore this weekend and I'm still planning on going to the bookstore this weekend but right now like I said I have no patience no chill and so this is for my May book budget and May is also my birthday month so it's a little different, it's a little special. It's fine, hopefully I can still keep myself control. Yeah, when I get home, I'll do like a mini haul and of what I get today and then what I got at Goodwill yesterday. And then you can come along with me again this weekend for even more books, hopefully. <laughs> All right, so we are back from Barnes and Noble and I have freshened up a little bit and kind of come home. <laughs> and I'm going to go through all of the books that I got. I will definitely say I was unsupervised and I definitely lost self-control, very much so. However, I will say that, so this is my book shopping for May. And so while it may have gone over my book budget for the month it is also my birth month may is my birth month so happy birthday to me first things first i went to goodwill the other day with a friend of mine and she was actually looking for a childhood book of hers to uh cut up and put on her graduation cap and so i thought huh, we're in the book section anyway you never know what you'll find at like a thrift store's like bookshelves and I actually ended up finding Language of Thorns by Leigh Bardugo. So this is kind of the collection of stories of the saints and just kind of some Grisha verse lore and mythology a little bit. So I thought this would be really fun to have and to read about and really just to kind of add to my collection. Yeah, I thought I'd pick this up. Next up, I got a book that I just finished reading, and that is Nettle and Bone by T. Kingfisher. This is a book that I really enjoyed. I think what I like most about it is the unique elements that this book did. It took your typical fantasy idea, but really made it its own. So I am very happy to finally have this on my shelf. I got One Dark Window by Rachel Gillig. This one has just been capturing my attention. Everyone who's talked about it has made it sound so interesting, but for different reasons. So I am gonna take a risk and uh, I'm excited to read this. I kinda know what it's about, but I kinda don't. So yeah, I thought this would be a really fun one to try out. Maybe I might save it for spooky season. I'm not completely sure about that, but I feel like it would be a good like spooky book to read. The next one is a whole trilogy. I cannot believe I did this. City of Brass, Empire of Gold, and Kingdom of Copper by S.A. Chakraborty. So this is like one of the big chunky trilogies that I've been wanting to read for a long time now, but I, I wanted to sit down and read them all at once. Read one, two, and three. And so I finally just bit the bullet and was like, all right, 
I'm gonna get the trilogy. I'm gonna read it this summer. I really, I have a goal this year of catching up on some of the fantasy series and books that I've been wanting to read, but haven't been reading because other books are shorter or more available or whatever. So I'm, I'm getting started. I'm, I'm gonna read these hopefully this summer. And it's a pretty cool, like, I think it's like a desert fantasy and the desertathon is in May, so perfect. I don't know how fast I'll be able to finish these, but I will do my darndest, that's for sure. Moving on to romance of the backlog of books that I've wanted to buy. Well, this one is a new book on my list of books I wanted to buy, but it's not like a new book. That is Terms and Conditions by Lauren Asher. I got the fine print, I read it, and I absolutely loved it. I devoured it in like a day, maybe two days. Um, so I really wanted to get the rest of the billionaire, or the Dreamland Billionaire trilogy, the romance kind of companions, and they each, I think, feature a different trope. So yeah, I'm excited to read this one and see what comes next for the next brother. Now, speaking of romance, we are also going to get into some of the new release books, books that just came out that I could not help myself and I had to get right now. I already showed you this. Uh, Emily Henry's The Happy Place. This came out as of filming yesterday. So, yeah, this is technically late April, but not the point. Um, I've, I've really enjoyed a lot of Emily Henry's other books I have. Her other contemporary romance books, and I like them. I'm a little annoyed that this one is hardcover. I understand that she's going through a different publisher and they do things differently, but like, I have all of her other books in paperback, and I'm not waiting a year to get this on softcover, especially since the hold for the audiobook on the library is probably also going to be a year. So, I bet the- I, I just did it. I just- I got the hardcover for The Happy Place by Emily Henry. It'll be a great summer read. Another great summer read, but in a very different way that was just released either today or also yesterday, is This Delicious Death by Kayla Cottingham. I, so I read Kayla Cottingham's other book, uh, My Dearest Darkest, and I really liked it. I thought the book itself was a great debut novel and that I think this author is one that's gonna grow and the books are just gonna get even better. And then when I heard this book was coming out, I got all excited, so I went and I read the summary and I was like, ooh, cannibalism. Not something I've ever wanted to read. But I am taking a leap of faith because I am invested in this author with, you know, their one other book that they've published. And it's, you know, it's YA thriller and it's queer. So... I don't know, plus it's like set to like summer kind of music festival vibe, I think. Like, yeah, very summery and thrillery and queer, so, you know, who knows? I don't think this book will change my opinion on reading thrillers and horror with cannibalism, but I don't know if I'll actually hate this book because of it at least. Because there was quite a bit of body horror in her other one and I didn't mind it, so I'm hoping that the cannibalism will just be like a thing I don't mind and I'll enjoy every other aspect of the book. Oh, I just realized I haven't been checking for stickers on any of these, but I don't think, I don't think a lot of these have stickers. I think it's just these new releases that I'm going through that have stickers that I'm trying to, yeah, yeah, okay. Now another book by an author that I am like kind of an auto buy author, even though it's still pretty early in their career. The author is Hannah Witten and the book is The Foxglove King. So Hannah Witten wrote one of my favorite duologies, which are also just some my favorite dark fantasy romance of all time. And so I knew when The Foxglove King was coming out, I knew I had to read it. I read the premise, I loved it. So yeah. I, I knew that I was gonna want to get this as soon as it came out, and it came out earlier, I think like in March. I just have so many good books that I'm gonna read this summer. Like, I, I would really love to read all of these books 
through the end of summer, I think. Every book is summery in its own way. Also, I just love this co cover. Like, there isn't much color, but I kind of love it, so. Final book that I got from Barnes & Noble that is a new release is one that I've seen other people talk about and it's like the perfect summer read and I'm really excited about that but I didn't honestly think I would actually purchase it or at least not without reading it first and I haven't really been putting in a lot of effort to get like the audiobook or this book from the library or anything like that so I was kind of surprised that I bought this but I don't regret buying it I just have to get the sticker off first Sometimes these stickers come off like really easy and sometimes they just don't. Oh, it was an easy one. Huzzah. Anyway, and that is The Adventures of Amina al Serafi, and this is by Shannon Chakraborty. And this is like a piratey rescue kind of book. And so, you know, pirates, it's a great summer read. And there were a bunch of other books I was like, oh, it's mermaidy I want to get it and I was like nope self-control self-control <laughs> which obviously I still failed at but I <laughs> I'm excited for this one I think I'm gonna enjoy it it's just gonna be a fun adventure with pirates this summer so so those are the 11 books that I impulsively bought Initially, I was also thinking of going to Half Price Books this weekend because it's my last month in Minnesota and we do not have Half Price Books in Michigan. So I will no longer have like a good place to get discounted books like like Half Price Books. But after what I pulled today, I don't think I can justify that. And I'm not super heartbroken about that because I've been going to Half Price Books pretty much every month that I've been here and it's gotten to a point where I'm pretty familiar with the books that they have like obviously they're always getting in new books and you never know what you're gonna find but I, I don't feel like I'm missing too much by not going this final month I just hope that they can open one up in Michigan preferably close-ish to where I live or where my parents live or at least where I'm moving to uh, versus where my parents live. I mean, that, that would be nice, but... Mm. Those are all the 11 books. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Do you shop seasonally or monthly? Like, do you buy books because it'll be great for the upcoming season? Or, like, I want to learn about your book shopping habits because I want to know if I'm the only one who loses control like this. I don't think I am, but it's always just nice to know that I'm not alone. <laughs> also, I have bookish social media linked down below that you can follow me as I am reading these books, but as I am reading them, I will also continue to make videos, so feel free to subscribe and definitely hit the bell to be notified when I post because I'm about to have a very busy next couple of three months. Um, because I will be moving to a different state and then going on vacation for two months. So I'm going to do my best to have at least one video a week go up. Ideally, I would love to have two videos a week go up as I have been doing this whole year and pretty much all of last year. I think it would be great if I can continue that, but I make no promises. But I will definitely try and have at least one video going up a week over these next three months. So just hit the bell to be notified so that when a video does go up, you know, and you can watch it and maybe give that video a thumbs up. I don't know, who knows? But yeah, that is all that I have to say. I'm gonna go lovingly put these books where they belong because I don't think I've read any of these. I have not, which has been a goal of mine is to catch up on books that I have already read and want to own. There is one book here that I've read, so I can put that one on my shelf at least, which is probably good because these shelves are starting to get a little full, uh, but that's what new bookshelves are going to be for, right? So if you're interested in new bookshelves, subscribe! Okay, I'm going to stop blabbering on. Thank you so much for watching the video again, and until I see you all in the next one, I wish you happy reading!